Hello, I'm Galita and welcome here to this space. I would like to speak today about the magical effect of going back to basics. I know some of us are really enjoying going back to basics, uh, which means back to the home, back to ourselves in a closed, less stimulants area. <laughs> and some of us are finding it a bit uh, worrying or scary. And I would like to talk about that today, that you can embrace the going back to basics energy. Because this whole year, 2020, we are going to go back and forth into ourselves in different levels and to the core basis of who we are and what our society is, what our home is, what we want to do in the world. It is bringing us to our basics because this is where we can strengthen ourselves before we jump into the next level. So what does it mean to go, to, to, to go back to basics? It means that it is the opposite of the inner king of us that wants us to go to the world and achieve and grow and expand, which is great. But it has another movement, which is the feminine, which more magnetizing ourselves to the core. And sometimes you need to examine who am I, who am I becoming, uh, and give yourself a better foundation uh, before we jump again. Because this jump of 2020, what we are all doing with our consciousness and with our understanding of what our world is becoming and what we are making out of it, um, and who we are on all four levels, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically, it's all taking us forward so now this movement of going to our basics of how we live with whom we live uh, how would we like to restructure our houses our our way of life the way we take care of our health the way we look at the world our relationships uh, where we come from what is in the past uh, what do we envision our future to be this is very good time to ask those questions and to check it so if, if you feel worry or nervousness about the fact that things are or maybe can go back to basics, just remember that uh, you always have both, both sides. If you have strong basis, the time will come because that's part of the sickness that goes out again, in and out. This is, this is the rhythm of life. And so if we are in a night time where we go within and we explore some other levels, the sun will come back when we go out again. So for some of you, I know that it is actually very exciting to go back to basics because it made things simpler and makes things clearer. And suddenly there is new space to go out of the automatic living and to go into new exploration. So who hooray to that. Um, I had the same, the same experience with going back to basic after going through my own, you know, in the beginning I was asking, how can I help? How can I help with this whole uh, situation in the world that is changing? Uh, the answer was to take care of myself and my family and my home, so my own foundation. Uh, and then I went through myself the last two weeks through really big healing uh, where I confronted big shadows uh, that was they were huge. And I was surprised because I worked with shadows for years, uh, for 22 years, very consciously. It's part of my work. It's part of my specialty. And I thought, wow, if I, who are, who is experienced of working with shadows, have all the tools, had to have like such a shocking experience, what happens to people who just exploring it for the first time? And I thought, how can I help? How can I help? So then I decided to go really back to basics. So with no big ta da -da with no launches, with no nothing, I'll go back to give what I used to do for years, um, shamanic journey for a person to give the reading healing that will answer a question that you have on all six directions. So after the session, I give you the full report about everything you need to know from your whole ancestors and spirits and all of your guiding system. Uh, the answer, because I know that I need it. I have my own friends that I go for my own um, uh, healing work. So I went back to basics. And there was a part of me that's going like, what are you going to do now? What are you, what you did 10 years ago? And the answer is yes, I'm going to do that because it's, uh, it's needed. It's requested. It's very, very focused. It's 
one and a half hours that can give a person a years of things to work with. Uh, I know what it did to me. It was revolutionary in my life. I still have those things from, from 20 years ago that I still understand about my own, my whole total life. Um, so going back to your basics, so your own basics of your, of your existence is, is very profound and it's very liberating. Uh, it's very humbling also. So that would be another reason why I would recommend you to embrace the wonderful, magical effect of uh, going back to basics with love and with appreciation and with um, clarity uh, that will come to you and just the ability to receive, uh, which is another thing of the, 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 the your inner queen asking you to change some of the stuff instead of going with the whole world running after stuff to take the time to to receive and to anchor and to broaden your foundation. Very important. Your foundation is the thing that you need in order to jump to the next level and it will happen. It will happen to all of us, especially if you are managing to build your foundation uh, with care and with intention and, and with a new review of who you are and what you're becoming. So a lot of the nonsense and the programming and the shit stuff that was sitting on our existence and our mental body, emotional body, they are now changing and shifting. So there is, there is the need to go back and reviewing who am I, where I come from, what is no any more relevant to where I'm going. Well, everything I'm talking about is about to know yourself and express yourself and express yourself from this point of knowing who you are. So going back to your basics of my breath, my body, my body now, not the body that I used to have, the body I want to have. How am I connecting to it now? On emotionally, who am I emotionally and how I am aware about what I'm feeling and how I'm processing my own feelings. And, and this is part of what, I, what I'm offering this, this work. I'm, I'm actually gonna call it crash course into transforming your shadows because all of those monsters we had and our ancestor had and humanity had for ages are changing. And going back to your own basic core of who you are is, is free, free. And it doesn't have to take long. You don't have to 20 years sit on the couch and talk about uh, all the wrong things your parents did to you. This time is past. The transformation is immediate uh, if you are willing to receive it and jump to the, to the next version of yourself uh, with total excitement because your soul will feel, hey, I got a chance to fulfill my mission and to have a lot of joy doing that. Um, very exciting times, but it will go and it will come back. So the ability to go back to your own basic, the own basic of like how much mind and thought do you need? How much how much of it you really want to keep and what of it can be really living because you don't living because you don't really need it where you're going. So, and spiritually also, spiritually going back to basics. Who are you as a spirit? Who are your guides? Who are your personal guides? I have a whole course about meeting a personal guide because it's so empowering to get your own, own spiritual connection and soul family core. Um, so let's embrace our going back to basics, enjoying the simpler things, the simpler food, the simpler daily activity, the simpler thinking about what am I allowed, what I'm not allowed, cutting out a lot of the feeling not worthy. It's all programs that are not necessary anymore. You can live without them. So I would like you to embrace the magical effect of going back to basics in any way that you're going to design. And please share with me, what do you do to go back to basic? What gives you the essence of you are uh, back into your own core, building your own foundation? Uh, what you find difficult about it or what you find wonderful about it? Share with me, I would like to hear that. And this is I, what I wanted to share. Oh, I didn't see so much sun. I didn't look at the camera. Um, um, and um, yes, that's all I wanted to say. And I hope you can um, 
um, take this on board and let your self run with this new version of yourself that is emerging and if you have any questions please let me know i would like to discuss anything so this is all for me can you hear it song this is what i am giving you today and i hope that you um, shine and be heard in the world as you are so you can share your gorgeousness with us because where we're going we need all the colors of the rainbows all of the DNAs, all of the version of light. Uh, it's very exciting. So this is all. <laughs>